YouTube, man, what's up? So, coming to you today. Hold on, let me go lock in. All right, so today I got a video coming to y'all, and I just got off of work, so so bear with me. I still got my uniform on. And first of all, I already know y'all gonna try to get on me, cause I know everybody else, mostly in the states and everything like that, they wearing the Type Threes, the green ones. But my command, we can still wear the blues. I mean, the Type, whatever these is, I forgot. We can wear these ones until uh, October of this year. But getting into it today, we're going to be talking about the pros versus the cons of the Navy, right? Now, I have my ups and downs in the Navy so far. I've been in, uh, this month is two years. So, I done had days where it's like, man, I can't wait till I get out. I done had days where it's like, man, the Navy's kind of cool. So, it's like a little roller coaster. But um, I'm gonna do all the pros first, and then I'm gonna do all the cons. The first pro that I have with um, with the Navy is what everybody think of when you think of the military, and that's the benefits, right? So when you think about it, you get like, uh, I you really don't think, I really don't have to think about too much. It's like, um, you know, healthcare, dental, stuff like that. It may not be the best, it's like civilian sector, but like I don't pay for nothing, I don't think about it, they, you know, Something wrong with me, I go down to medical, I get prescribed some Motrin or something. <laughs> Alright, let me chill. Alright, they, they help me out. Or dental, they help me out, stuff like that. If something were to happen to me, I know I'm covered, something like that. So, I know I don't worry about too much when it comes to the benefits. I mean, when it comes to, like, that aspect. And then you gotta think about um, the GI Bill, where I get that uh, for when I get out, out of the service. Or I can use it while I'm in. Uh, and that's money towards college. Or if I don't use it, I could pass it to, say, my kids or something like that. Or a spouse, but most likely it'd probably be, like, kids or something like that. And then while you're in the, the service, they, they pay for, like, your tu like your tuition and all that type of stuff. So, that's a benefit. And if you want to add it on, I'm stationed overseas, so it don't really apply to me too much. But, like, the military discounts and stuff. Just, like, all the benefits that come with it, stuff like that, right? Getting on to the next pro, I say responsibilities, right? Now, it's going to make you... Like the Navy will give you responsibilities to where you're gonna like mature as a as a person, right? If you come from, like straight out of high school, like I did for the most part, high school and I was in debt for like eight months, like just working and stuff like that. So it give you responsibilities that you never really had unless you did have it or stuff like that. But like just uh well you'll notice, like for me I already had pretty much I don't know, growing up my parents had me I was always like more of an independent type of child where like they made me like look out for myself sometimes or most times you know stuff like that just so I wouldn't be handicapped when I get to the real world but you could tell some people was like hand like like hand hand walked like all they like so like think about responsibilities you responsible you gotta be responsible for your own actions like whatever you do you gonna get in trouble for it or it's like you gotta be working in the morning no matter what you did the night before you know you gotta be at work in the morning on time you know stuff like that or you know you gotta wash your own clothes. Like if mommy used to wash your clothes, you can say goodbye to that. Uh, unless you on the ship, then you just go turn your clothes in. But you still gotta wash like your personal clothes. You know what I'm saying? You can go to the galley and eat, but let's say you in the house or something like that, and you going you gotta learn how to cook. You gotta clean and stuff like that. Like, like little responsibilities. You gotta learn. You gotta pay your own bills now. Like you gotta grow up, kind of. You gotta grow up in a sense. Uh, another pro is traveling. So, so far, uh, I've been in the Navy for about two years now, and I have been to, let me name my countries I've been to. So, I'm not going to name the U.S., that's just stupid, but, alright, so, J I've been in Japan, I'm stationed here right now. I've been to Hong Kong, I've been to Busan, uh, I've been to Jeju-do, and Busan and Jeju-do both are South Korea. I've been to, uh, Manila, which is in the Philippines, I've been to Australia, and I may be, like, missing a little bit. I've been to Hong Kong twice in that count. So yeah, I've been, I traveled around, you know, stuff like that. Place I never would have thought that I've been, that I would go. Cause growing up in Baltimore City, my my thought of like a vacation was like, you know, going down like Miami or like going to Myrtle Beach or something like that. So I never would have expanded my mind and think about like different places I could go and stuff like that. I never even thought like, like my favorite port had to be like Australia. Like, yeah, Australia was like, you know what I mean? Number four, I would say for the prompt, for the pros, it's just general experience. So you're gonna you're gonna encounter, uh, especially if you come to like a ship, you're gonna encounter a lot of experience that most people in the civilian world would never encounter. Like like one day of your day right here in, in the service might 
be like the most eventful day for somebody in the civilian world. Like we, like for me, I know living on living on a carrier. Like when we go out to sea, first of all, every naval personnel is a firefighter. So you gonna learn how to fight fires. Uh, being on a ship, you get qualified in a lot of DC calls. So which is damage control. So whether it's firefighting, you know, pipe patching, fires, flooding, toxic gas, all types of stuff. You learn how to abandon ship. You learn how to save lives. Like if you're um. Like I'm stretcher bear called, so like save you know save lives. You do what medical people do. Just a lot of different experience, a lot of different things that you gonna have over the top. Let's say you you go you do four years and then you were to get out, you have a lot more experience is as a whole than somebody that just has a degree in it and is about to start working. So you might be more likely to get the job because you're more of a well-rounded person. And then just always different experiences by uh meeting different people from different walks of life another pro of the navy is the money right now we don't get paid that much i'll make a video more about my pay and stuff like that but we don't really get paid that much but when you put it into factor on how much you money you actually have to spend in the navy which isn't like leisurely spending then you really get a lot of money because if you don't want to eat out you can eat at the galley you know, so you don't have to pay for food, you don't have to pay for housing, you don't, I don't pay like no light bill, water bill, none of that type of stuff. So really my only bills is really like my phone, my like Netflix, and uh, I'm overseas so I don't have a car. So I don't have to pay no car insurance or, or none of that type of stuff. My bills are pretty limited, but I'm bringing in income. So it's easier to save money and invest money and, and they'll do stuff like that. So I would say the money is a, is a big perk because you don't really have to spend any money if you really don't want to. I don't have to have a phone, I don't have to do any of that type of stuff. Getting into the cons. All right, so this y'all probably been waiting on, y'all probably been waiting on the cons, right? I'm just gonna be honest, I would say freedom of expression. I feel sometimes that the Navy, you can't like really express yourself. Like at the end of the day, you kind of know what you signed enough for. Like it's been a couple times where I've been, I actually been kind of mad about certain stuff I couldn't do, but somebody had to like let me know, like, you know you joined the military, right? I was like, yeah. Hey. I guess you're right about that. Like, for example, like my hair. Like, I've been, I got in trouble a couple times by my hair. They saying, they were saying it's out of regs because it used to be a little longer than this. But they were trying to say it was out of regs, or not the length. They were saying it was out of regs by the texture of my hair. Like, they would say I need to pick my hair out and stuff like that. And I, I didn't really like that. I kind of felt like it was like I don't know. I don't really want to get into all that, but I really, I really didn't like how they, how they told me I needed to pick my hair out and stuff like that. Freedom of expression. You know, you just can't do whatever you want while you're in the military. If you, uh, let's say you a dude and how you express yourself is lime green fingernails or something. You can't do that, period. I'm just giving an example. Another con is, it's a con for me. Take it how you want it, uh, but the going on deployment. Going on deployment can be a pro or it can be a con. The pro is like the ports that you hit, like traveling, but the con is being out on the, on the ship for that long period of time. You know, it's kind of boring, restless, you anxious to get off the ship. You can't really talk to your family that much. Missing regular food that's not cooked in the galley. And just being able to just go, like, just get away from the Navy. Sometimes it's hard to separate your job and your actual life. Like, the Navy isn't me. Like, the Navy isn't, like, I don't, like, eat, sleep, breathe the Navy. You know what I'm saying? So, some people do, I don't. So, I just feel like... You gotta have a way of separating it at times, and sometimes it's hard to do that, especially when you're underway. Number three, uh, if if a higher ranking tells you to do something and it's within his regard, like it's not like an unlawful order, you gotta do it, or you you have to listen. That may not be like a problem to you, but I know I had problems like listening sometimes when I just feel like I shouldn't have to do it, or I feel like I don't know, you know, just different things hard-headed sometimes it's like you can't you can't like just be like you know what it's not like a regular job like you can't be like you know what i'm sick of this i quit there's no such thing you can't just quit the navy you can't quit the military you can get kicked out which will go on your record and all that you don't want to do all of that so know what you get yourself into when you sign that contract you going to do them years unless you decide to get kicked out or something like that but you're going to do them years you don't have a you don't have a choice in most things. Number four is repetitiveness. For the most part, I get up. Uh, every day I wake up at about five o'clock in the morning when I, go, when I go to work. I get up at five o'clock in the morning and I'm out the door by, by like 6.30 to get to work. I have to be there by seven. I pretty much do the exact same thing every single day. Right now, by me being undesignated, I do like different, different things, but it's the same thing. You know, especially so people that have rates, they do almost the same exact thing 
almost every day. It may be a new piece of equipment or a new whistle or a new like, you know, some things may tweak a little bit, but for the most part, it's the same type of thing. You you go to work, and then you go to eat, uh, go back to work, and you get off to work. It's just repetitive, 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 over and over and over. Especially when you're underway, and you, it's no such thing as a weekend underway. If y'all didn't know that, it's no such thing as like, oh, I got Saturday off. Uh, Sunday, you got holiday routine, you might get to come in and work a little later, or they might be lenient with you on a Sunday, but it's no such, it's no weekend. So it's literally, you work Monday to Monday, and you're in uniform. So if you have a problem with repetitiveness, this, the military may not be for you. Number five is listening to, if you have like a poor chain of command or like just leadership period and you know, and they're over ranking you. So you, so you're supposed to listen to them. I saw this one uh, post about the military and it was saying like, they give you a bowl of soup, right? It's just a figure, it's just a uh, figure of speech, right? And you have a spoon in your hand and you know, you can eat this soup with the spoon, right? And you go in to start eating with the spoon and then your chain of command is like, no, don't use that spoon, use this. And they give you a fork. And you're like, but I got a spoon. I know this spoon will work way better than this fork. And they're like, I don't care what you say, this fork is better, right? So use the fork. That's the order, use the fork. So now you're over there using the fork and then somebody higher than them comes out and say, no, don't use the fork. Here, use this, use the knife. And then you just like, but I got a spoon. But they're like, no, use the knife. So it's just like, if you can, if you catch that, it's stuff like that where you know you may be right or you know that something is better than this. But because they are higher ranking than you and they may be poor leadership and they don't they don't value you what you say or value your opinion, you are now forced to eat your soup with a knife. As long as you catch that figure of speech, then you understand what I'm talking about and you're just sitting there. It, it gets to you at a point. First time you may be like. Wow, this is crazy. And next thing you know, you will notice that you're just following orders without even thinking about it. They might be like, hey, uh, go out there and, and mop up the rain. Hey, yeah, we gonna mop the rain today. You know, stuff like that, so. Now, this is by no means, like, the epitome pros and cons. I don't wanna make my videos like anybody, other's, anybody else's videos. I appreciate y'all watching this video. Make sure if you ain't, if you ain't, uh, you know, hit my social media up, you know, follow me on there. Make sure you, that's how you get the inside scoop. Uh, the behind the scenes, the, all that. So you will know when I post a video, uh, stuff like that. And you could talk to me, even though my DMs is kind of crazy. So most likely I'm gonna get back to you. I apologize if I don't. I appreciate y'all watching this video. You have a blessed day and make sure you stay official, man. Stay official like a referee with a whistle. Let's get it.